Hello everybody, it's Wilson19 and welcome back to Mount Legend Fan Award in the general campaign. So let me bring you up to speed on what has happened. Um, I did just go around fighting looters, fighting looters. I got my next clan here. So I sent my brother out on a party. I got all the guys together. And I got everything all smelted down, ready to go for the most part where I want it. We're short of being able to smelt really good, I should say refine. Um, we're short of guys to really refine as much as I wanted to. So that's all finished up. Uh, I did go a little bit longer than I actually wanted to as far as time-wise is concerned. And that's because I wanted to get my little sister going. She was right at the point where it was time for her to, to pop out, so um, I wanted to let her get in on the act too. You get it? Sister act? Huh. That was moving along. So we are all set and ready to smith. But like I said, I don't have as much as I had hoped I would have at this point. So we are going to smith until we're almost time to run out. And then we want to make the last bit of weapons to sell. And then we want to actually figure out what we're going to do after that. So, time to smith like crazy. We do not have uh, our big brother here because he absolutely sucks at smithing. And I would rather have him running a group, um, getting some higher level character or uh, companion troops so he's working on that plus also getting us renowned so we can move up faster get more companions so for the most part we're just going to do this i don't know how much we're going to be able to do considering how low we are actually on steel would rather have had about 500 however i did not want to keep running around all over the place and until i actually smith i can't re refine it so i can't do that she was my charcoal maker also so she is going to be with me on that problem I have is, is I really don't have a great archer captain right now. Um, that that does suck. Um, probably the best one would be him or uh, the knowing. Unfortunately that was crossbow and not regular bow. Uh, just because he's got four points into that already which pushes that cap up to 46 instantly. So one point would be 86. However, he's got a point into it already. So, I mean, his next point will push him at almost 100. So for the moment, I'm looking at him doing it. Okay. Now we need to wait. We've got smelt. And like I said, when we get down near the end, we're going to take our last little bits and we're going to take those around. And that's what we're going to go ahead and sell off while also buying equipment. And then that way, once we're done, I'm going to try to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, we did have kids too. So, first we had Mojo, then we had Tony, and then we had Flavius. So, she just got pregnant again. I think we're good to go. Well, we just got to smell. I, in fact, I want them to smell it. Alright, because now I can actually do that. Let's see if anybody has this yet. Uh, we have steel, that's good. And we have more steel. I mean, that's really what it would come down to is 
refining. You can see how much I have. I have quite a bit. I just need to get it turned over into fine steel. But that's where it works so nice, where you can go ahead and refine after you smelt it because you have so many guys left over. Then you start running into the problem where you could actually run out of charcoal because you don't have enough because you're doing all the smelting and refining. Uh, I'm sure we are full and we are full. That is good. You can make this go a lot easier actually by the weapon that you choose. See, right now we're pulling a four and a one, so we should get back one and three, is what I think we should get. We'll have to look at it. It should be one and three. And then once we're done with this, then it's time to figure out what, what, what exactly are we going to do. The obvious choice is become a mercenary, although... I never really liked being a mercenary that much because I like to get that charm and leadership going. But it's not out of the question. And uh, somebody did talk about the, hit, the hand. I didn't remember if it was Flavius. It probably was. Um, I always seem to like when it's time to go after them. For some stupid reason, they're always allied with somebody. And when they are... In hand. When they're allied with somebody, then you cause a war with them. And I'm not sure if. Well, uh, I don't think they're allied right now. They, I don't think they're with anybody right now. So I could actually go after them. Just because of that color, that would normally mean the Empire, but they're at war with them. So. I've actually had a minor faction just once in all my playthroughs actually declare war on me only once did i ever have it happen but it did happen all right let's run through the guys again now i want i do need to make sure i'm gonna work that pull arm although this is what we're really gonna go for we should be able to get a little more. And then she is a refiner. Okay. I am, to say the very least, super pumped about this. Just the thought of how powerful this combination can be has me absolutely just, I'm just going bonkers over it. And it has a lot to do with medicine. Because medicine keeps your guys from dying. So you're going to get a lot less casualties if we bump this up to 300. And then also it's your recovery rate. So we're going to take a lot less casualties and we're going to bounce back a lot faster than other people. So it's going to continue, have us be able to do more. And then unfortunately nothing I, I can see is working in engineering. However, the engineering itself does work. Building this stuff. That does work. But none of the perks work. And then, of course, that. But right now, we are working on little sis. She's working on hers because as soon as she gets done, she goes out. Because, I mean, with the system that I have going with smithing and now I have her doing quartermaster at the same time, she's going to have, like, five points into every virtual category. Except for maybe, like, 
um, tactics and medicine. She might only have like three or four in them, but uh, why am I doing that? I should have been smelting. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. I'm getting in my talk mode again. steel going so that way we are going to convert the steel over from fine steel and I really can't do hardly anything so I'm not going to worry about it alright now we're ready to make again yeah I'm really pumped about this I'm just eager to see what it can do is it going to be you know is is running an intelligence based character going to be just overpowered that they don't realize because what a lot of people are feeling to remember is medicine and engineering are two of the four skills that haven't even been worked on yet the other two being charm and leadership these have not been redone so think what happens when they get done how powerful it can be. Alright, we're good again. We'll stick with this bad boy. Just because we know of the cost involved in it. She should level. You can see how much we're getting down on fine steel. That that's going to be the problem. Although, like I said, we can convert, but it's going to take a lot of charcoal to do it. So. Here's what we got. So I'm 221. I did not level. Arwa did level. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, question is, is she can get can she get another one? With that I think I want her to have big. Last one into there. Now, now all she needs to get is her three fighting. Well, realistically, it's just two. So she's going to have two-handed riding, and then of course, with all this um, endurance, she gets a bunch of right um, athletics. So she only needs like one into that. Then all you really have to do for her is tactics and medicine. That's all you really have to do. Um, scouting does work, so it's advisable to put one into scouting, and same thing with roguery. That does help. Alright, we're done with that. Rinse and repeat. And then once we get low on this stuff, then I have to make a decision whether or not it's time to fight or go out and grab another batch of stuff. Because it takes a while for the stuff to replenish back into cities, even if it has a smithy, it takes a while to do. Get some fine steel going. Replenish our fine steel since that's what we need. And whoops, eh, my bad. Oh well. 
So, hopefully we can keep it running good until we actually run out of charcoal. But then it's like making the decision. Do you go grab another full set of gear from all over the place and do it again? Or do you just call it good and move on? Normally I like to really get it going and get as much done as possible. So that's the same blade. One thing I do want to watch out for is my pull arm, which that, that's the better one, but I don't care about that right now. Once again with smithing, it's another one of the situations that, uh, I hate to say it, I'm excited but scared for what Tail World is going to do. I really am. To know how bad they can box things up like they did with trade worries me. Now, the one good thing that happened was seeing that developmental update about your children and being able to kind of mold them a little bit. Um, that was actually very, very encouraging. That really was. So, um, I hope that's really going to work out because it, it did look pretty damn sweet. Okay, she's got that. Now we need to get her going with... Alright, she only needs one point into riding and then she should be done with that. Then we need to, obviously we're going to go one-handed. Better draw is like right at freaking level. So that sucks. Um, yeah, you gotta have better drought to do that. Because he'll level. And we want him to level and get those focus points before we actually have him do smithing. Because that's where you really get the points. So we gotta make sure that we do get him leveled once. As you can see, he's just got 5.33, but boom, 7.16, 6.17. So that's done. So now we can just go back to this. Actually, I am a curious smith. I should really be doing this as well. I just thought about that. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm a curious smith. I should be doing that so I can actually get the prints that need to come out. Because then we also have to decide when we're done that we need to make weapons for our guys. That's going to be quite important. You can see I'm going like really big on fine steel. But probably what's going to end up happening is if we're going to end up running out of charcoal. That always seems to be, that's the bad thing that always happens if we run out of charcoal. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably going to have enough, so we're good on that. We'll, we'll end up running out of charcoal. Not a huge deal. I would like to do one more round of smithing before we actually go out fighting, but I really do love being a vassal over um, a mercenary. And a lot of it, you know, I want to be able to make my own army is kind of the biggest thing that I really look at. I like fighting on my own terms. And also being able to get peons really quick also helps a lot. 
Well, that's not going to help if you can't get leadership. So really we're just doing this to gain some skill and then we're going to end up uh, getting a little bit of money together and then we want to build our weapons that we're going to end up fighting with. But we're also going to use these weapons to sell in towns to get our equipment. So we're going to be decked out to the max, have money left over, and then boom, it's time to join a faction. Okay, I got that. We got three going there. We got three going there. I still need to put in a pole arm, but... I know I do need to get scouting going. Oops. Scouting is really important with all the perks that you got. Mining, smithing, smelting. Oh no, that's that. Forgot about that. Alright. Rinse and repeat. But what it looks like with the developmental update is kind of what they did with at the beginning of the game when you're making your character. I don't know if they're going to do this just multiple times or just once, but you're going to be able to click on something that you want your kids to specialize in. So it might actually be that route. Um, I don't know if they're going to make it as simple, you know, that how we actually start with that. If that's what they're going to do, kind of how they're growing up. Um, I don't think that would be a terrible idea, especially it's like at certain points of their life, all of a sudden you get a message. All right, as growing up, she did this. So I don't think it would be terrible of an idea. The one thing is, is I still would like to see a little bit of randomness to it. Because just because your parents try to teach you how to be something doesn't mean that's what you're going to be. It doesn't mean that at all. Some kids grow up and they don't follow in their father's footsteps. A uh, perfect example is Harrison Ford, Han Solo. A lot of people don't realize that his son is um, a famous chef. So, you know, it doesn't always mean you're going to follow in your father's footsteps. It can help mold you a bit, but it shouldn't define you. So that's what I would like to see. A little bit of randomness to it, though. It's a good concept, but let's see if they execute it okay. That's the worry. I do have a problem with execution. So this supposedly is the only perk that doesn't work from what I've been, what I've seen. Supposedly that's the one. All right. Um, I better get her one handed going. Mining. I'm pretty happy with the way that it's going so far. Like I said, we're going to end up, which I, I was um, really being dumb about this. We get hardwood here. Oh, uh, they don't have any here right now, but we need to watch for those guys coming in with the hardwood. 
pop video or something like that. They, they have hardwood, so you get to take them really quick. Um, I'm not sure why. They come up from this way. They're right up here, right back there. They bring hardwood here, so we gotta watch out for them. Uh, let's see, we got anything else? Nope, nothing else. That I I got that blade early. I like that one. Um, that one is really really nice. I think that's the one that really has an expensive price to it, which is really weird because it doesn't have as much fine steel to it. Looks like I got four, one, three, and one. So this should get back two and two. You can see he's starting to get low on that charcoal. So this should be two and two. Oh wow, we're this that one. You only lost a half. It's actually giving back an extra steel. So all you're losing is half a fine steel on that weapon. That's it, half. That's pretty damn spectacular. Still don't see him coming in. I gotta get that pull on going. I don't have anything into it right now. And then she obviously is gonna go smelting. So now she can do all that smelting. Hey, you got that done. Let's give you another one-hander. Start getting her ready to go. Liner. I'm gonna go with control because I'm, I'm hoping I can convert him is what I really want to do. Well, that was a really good move. Oh, we got another one there. So I switched from that one to this one, and it gave me two and two. Well, actually, I lost a lot, but that doesn't matter. That, that iron doesn't mean anything. 
Oh no, yeah. I just lost a hat. That's it. Get low on charcoal. I had not been watching out for those villagers coming in. But we're I'm definitely gonna have to run up and grab charcoal. Run up, grab some charcoal, do a little bit of smell. Wow, nothing came up? Seriously? Look at that. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. You leveled. Why didn't that come up? That was weird. It didn't come up. It'd be nice of them to come down right now. Wonder if their village got ransacked. As you can see, sixty one left. Problem is, is Onira got taken by the Kuzite, so the village that supplies it with hardwood, uh, the price went skyrocketing. So I would just have to run north. There's a couple places that you can go. Aragon is really good for it. They got one right there. Um, Epicrotia has this, although they got taken. And of course, a lot, all three of these do, or four of these do, one, two, three, four. But this is the mother load right here, because you got one there and you got one there. So, it's not too big of a leap just to head up there. But it is also time to start looking at this as well. No, they don't have any yet. I did get 50 trade. I just took some horses up into Valandia. So, that way I could get these prices marked. Um, if she has that mark, um, I didn't have anything into it though. As you can see, I'm down to a 0.48, uh, 24, 14, 54 is my cap. So I'm not worried about trade though. Don't care about it at all in this playthrough. That's not what we're going for. So I guess we got that all smelted. We're good to go. Yep. So what I think I am going to do is I'm gonna end the episode here and then I'm gonna go run up the Saiyanon. And that way I can grab some, I'm gonna grab some hardwood along the way and then I am going to refine some more uh, steel into fine steel. So that way in the next episode we won't end up running out. Cause I want to do it a couple more times. However, we're basically out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So when you see me next, I'll be in Sanon. We'll have a lot more hardwood, and we'll have some more fine steel, and it will be time to smelt some more. So I will see you in the next one. Take care, and thanks for watching.